and welcome back to Growers Farm. My name is Jamie and today is August the 5th. Um, I've just popped up to the shop because uh, we have a new trailer arriving today. So we're going to go and pick that up in a little bit. Um, it is a, uh, a brand new rail, Red Rock trailer. It's for our harvest. Um, the, we're looking at getting started fairly soon. Uh, we've got a really, really wet day again today here on the farm. Uh, we've, uh, yeah, our crops aren't quite ready for harvest, to be honest. Uh, I want to show you guys here. So, uh, yeah, they look fairly good. But you can see uh, here, well, apart from the uh, obvious wet, uh, if we uh, run our sensor over it, um, we're, we're, we're not quite fully grown. We're only about 81% of the way there. So, uh, a little more growing to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, 73% moisture in these at the moment. So, definitely nowhere near ready to go. And oh, we need to close this gate, I think. Let's see if we can... Oh. Grab this. And close this. Don't leave all our gates open. And, uh, and yes. So, we're, we're a little way off the harvest yet. I, I reckon we've probably got another couple of weeks. Which, considering we're in early August... Um, might seem a little bit late for a harvest, but round these way, round this way, uh, it's not too odd. Uh, we uh, we tend to get some fairly late harvests up here in Scotland uh, to allow the crop to grow as much as it can. Uh, we've been known to uh, sometimes been harvesting as late as November. We obviously don't want to be harvesting uh, later than that. Um, well, actually, I think one year we even went as far as December. But it starts getting really cold and uh, and it's not great for us there. I've uh, driven past where I want to go, actually. Let's park this up at the house. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, spraying some... Um, uh, we need to give some straw to the cows still today. And we need to give some... Uh, we need to give some feed to the uh, sheep as well. So we're going to be doing that today. Once I've got this parked up. There we go. Right up against the house. That's good. Uh, so we're going to need our straw blur, which is in here, I think. Yep, yeah, it's there. So, let's get this door open. Oh, what's wrong with this door? That's a little bit odd. There we go. Don't know what that was going on. Uh, right, so yeah, we need that straw blower. That was, uh, yeah, that was a little bit odd. Uh, we also need to do a bit of clean up. We've got some, uh, you can see we've got some feed on the floor there. So, uh, I think what we'll do first... Is, uh, yeah, we'll switch over on the front of our 7840. We'll, uh, we'll go put the spike in with the bales. Uh, we'll just get our bucket on here and uh, and go and clear this up and clear the sheep's uh, feed up as well. Uh, I think we'll both be a good thing to do. So drop that down and we'll get that off the front. And then just over here. We've got our bucket as well. There it is. Uh, hook it up. Hopefully. Yep, that's all looking good. There we are. Right. And we'll just run along here and uh, and clear this up so that uh, the very messy cows can have their feedback. Not a huge amount of uh, manure in here today, I don't think. We'll give that a check in a moment. But I think, uh, yeah, I think we're okay with the manure at the moment. Yeah, no manure in here at the moment, so that's good. We'll need to clear that out at some point, but at the moment that's all okay. Uh, we'll take this round and uh, go and clear out the sheep as well. 
So easiest way to do that is uh, spin around here, like so, and head out to the sheep field. Uh, so yeah, as I said, we're going to have to pop up to the shop, pick up our new trailer soon. Uh, it's it's due to be delivered imminently. And uh, and yeah, that will that will be gr a great addition to the farm. We've got the old, we've still got the old trailer kicking about at the moment. I think I'm going to see if I can sell it off. We don't really need to. Uh, the main reason to have the old one kicking around would be uh, as sort of a manure trailer, uh, but it's a bit big and a bit bulky for that. And we could actually probably make a little bit of money uh, off it to to offset the cost of the new one. I don't think my bucket is quite angled right. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's... Scraping a little bit hard on that. There we go. That's got it. Not a huge amount here, but it's uh, it pays to keep the uh, the feeding areas clear. So we're just going to go and top this up with some hay. And, uh, and that will make the sheep nice and happy. Oop, sheep there. He got out of the way. Uh, right. And get this gate back open. So that we can get out of it. And there we go. So we'll drop the bucket off and we'll uh, and, and get the bell spike on instead now and that help us to uh, to get some uh, straw sprayed because our cows are in need of that right round we go drop this off so yeah it's at the moment it's very much um, just waiting for this weather to clear to um, to get on with uh, the harvest and, uh, and and sort of get that bit of the year done, uh, we are yeah. There's not much else to do around here other than that. Our our cows are in a good place. Our uh, our sheep are in a good place. We've had um, we've had a good lambing season this year, uh, which is uh, which is great. Uh, we're well out of that now in late summer. Uh, right, we're going to need some straw first. Actually, what are we going to do first? I think we're going to go and take round some hay to our uh, sheep first. We'll be good. So we'll get this bale here on. Like so. Oh, no. quite far enough. There we go. That's got it, and uh, we'll take this round and get this uh, to our sheep. That will uh, that will make them happy for a good while. There's a nice amount of grass in their uh, in their enclosure at the moment, but if we can uh, we can top it up with a bit of hay, it'll like, make the grass in the field last that little bit longer, uh, which is always good. If we can make the if we can uh, make the grass last into the winter as well. That is always good. Close this. Oop. There we go. And then this just pops into here and we'll top up their grass. Like so. There we are. So that is the sheep happier. Uh, they got plenty of water, I think. Yeah, plenty of water for the sheep as well. So we just need to uh, get back and sort the cows out. So they'll go down here. Close this gate. Yeah. Around here. 
So, in general, it's been pretty, going pretty well. I'm glad we uh, did all those uh, silage bales uh, a few days ago. Basically, <laughs> with all this wet, with all this rain, we would never have been able to have uh, to have done anything else with them. Um, I'm hoping we're going to have a dry enough spell with the uh, with the grain crops to be able to get some uh, well to be able to get some straw in because as you can see we're down to our last three bales. This will keep this going for a little while, but it's it's still going to be quite a stretch uh, to get them there that long. We use the T6 on the shredder, I think. Got quite a few hours on this T6 now. It's uh, it's been quite a busy track to this. There we go. And we did buy it second hand as well, but yeah, quite a lot of work on this tractor. And pick it all up. There we go. And the easiest way to get this out of here. Bring this around and reverse it up. Quite a tight turn, but we're out. So we'll see if we can load this on the rear door. If not, I will just uh, I will just pop it straight in. So yeah, we want to get it in this crook here if we can. Let's see if that will uh, do that. What's that? So now a little bit further forwards. That looks a lot better. Back in. Back in. Let's uh, drop that off, hopefully. There we go. Bring it up. Yeah, and we're all good. So, round and like this. They should take all of this, I think. Which would be good. Let's get into the right position. There we go. And the here, of course, it's always the good fun of uh, trying to get this through the gap there. There we go. And done. Perfect. So I'm happy with that. That's all good. We want to go and uh, we'll just park this up here for now. I'll uh, I'll bring this back later. But we need to new use this tractor now, actually. So I'm just going to bring this around here. Park this here. Uh, and we'll turn off our other tractor here. All right, so... There we go. And then we want to disconnect that, disconnect that, and disconnect that. That is all good. And we're going to head up to the shop because, as I said, we should have our delivery of our new trailer up there now. Which will be very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a very useful piece for us. Rain is letting off a little bit. Looks like the sun's coming out. Yeah, seeing some blue sky through the uh, the tractor skylight now. That's very good news. Uh, quite, quite happy to see the rain let off a bit. Maybe over the next few days it'll dry, and uh, and we can get to the end of the summer. Uh, hopefully, with some crops ready to harvest in the next couple of weeks. But we'll see how it goes. It's, uh, it's yeah, up here is a little bit unpredictable. Certainly, I know the fishermen will be happy with this. A nice bit of rising rain, a little bit of water in the river, and plenty of salmon about, which will be, uh, which will be good. 
I might take a week off and see if I can uh, see if I can go and uh, what, who am I kidding? There's never a week off on this farm. Right, let's uh, head up here to the shop. Not too far, thankfully. Nice and close. And there it is. Our brand new Red Rock trailer. So this holds about 16,000 litres, I believe. And, uh, and should do us perfectly well. Uh, it was roughly two full tanks of the combine. So we will hook that up. Hook up our pipes as well. Uh, sorry, 14,000 litres is how much this takes, not 16. Um, still should do us pretty well with our combine. As I said, I, they, they're fully expecting me just to turn up and take it because I am... Because uh, I was doing all the paperwork earlier uh, and uh, sorting all of that out. So that is all good. Uh, we're going to go and put this in the shed. As I said, we'll probably look to sell off our existing trailer. But this will be a this will be a nice addition to the farm. This trailer this should do us pretty well. Uh, should cover what we need to cover with it, and it will go on the back of this T6 um, really well for uh, for carting during uh, during the harvest. And we did buy this T6 as very much a general use tractor around the farm. So uh, because we do have a we do have a bigger tractor in our 8640. Uh, and uh, other than that, we were uh, we were running our our two uh, our two wheel drive front loader as a little bit of an all rounder. So that's uh, that's been better. And of course, we still got our little sixty eight ten kicking about. Uh, we do use that for a little bit of yard work and things. Uh, normally, I'd probably have used that to shred the bales, um, but with knowing I needed to take this out later today, we uh, we took this instead. Uh, there we go. Bring this back. We need to find somewhere to put this. I think we're going to have to put this in our other shed at the moment because our trailer shed is full. So we'll put this in here. If I can see to reverse it in. Oh, I'm not going to scrape my new trailer straight off. We'll, uh, we'll just put this under this shed here. I'm not feeling the uh, ability to reverse that into there at the moment. That's good. So we need to, uh, yeah, we, we kind of need a dry spell around uh, to get some uh, some grass cut and get some hay made. Uh, as I said before, if, we, if the weather around here doesn't let up and doesn't let us do that, um, then what we'll do is, uh, is we do have a huge amount of silage bales at the moment. Uh, we will just sell off a load of silage silage bales and buy some uh some more hay bales uh simply because uh, we can we can make more from the silage bales than the hay bales will cost us that's good so that's our new trailer that's our new red rock trailer um is gonna work really really well for us and our harvest uh so i'm liking that a lot our cows, I think, are in good place. They've got plenty of water and plenty of manure. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I think they're happy. Uh, we've got a little bit of manure on the ground now. But, uh, yeah, plenty and plenty of uh, water there. Uh, sheep are also similarly happy. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. Not much more to do on the farm today, I'm afraid. It's... Uh, it's one of those days where there's not a huge amount of work to be done and uh, and can't be done because, obviously, uh, it's raining. Um, but, yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we're looking at having some more... Uh, we're looking at getting into the harvest. Um, I think this is probably my last vlog for this summer, though, because this rain is just... Yeah, until we got some ripe crops, uh, we're not going to be doing much more other than uh, just looking after the animals. So for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time.
Goodbye.